Dear Explorer, my name is Lucy. Welcome to this video. What we have here is a step-by-step -step guide through the processes of discovery and due diligence for yields. Discovery is the process of finding a possible blockchain asset to invest in. It answers the question, which asset should I consider in the vast sea of possible blockchain assets? Then, due diligence is the process of taking that candidate asset through further analysis to answer questions such as who else bought it, how recently, and how big was that investment for them. Finally, by getting the answers to those questions, you can take a more informed decision as to whether you should invest in that asset or not. As a reminder, this video does not constitute investment advice. It is merely an explanation on how to use Nansen to learn how to get your own investment advice from actual blockchain data. Let's go! As mentioned before, today we are going to have a look at the investment use case that we can define as yields. You've probably heard of yield farming, liquidity mining, staking, and the like. These investment strategies are characterized by the investor depositing tokens in a pool, which is governed by a smart contract. This deposit affords the user a yield of some kind. This can be rewarded in the form of tokens of the pool's project or interest paid out in the tokens deposited. Unlike with token and NFT investments, in which you are hoping to buy and then sell at a higher price, yields are more like a cash flow strategy. From the home screen, you can see the preview widgets of a number of our discovery dashboards. For instance, these are the top 10 smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain with the highest number of different depositors that belong to smart money. In case you didn't know, smart money is the collective name of entities representing investors that have a proven track record of success. They are always a good starting point of your discovery and due diligence processes. To the right, instead, we have the same widget, but covering all the other side chains. You can see that the different contracts governing the various pools have received deposits from different numbers of smart money entities. If you have the right type of Nansen subscription, you can access the full version of this dashboard. Its default setting is a maximum age of seven days to ensure you are seeing recently launched pools, but you can change that. Here in the full dashboard, the default of sorting is by the most inflow in the last hour, but you can sort by daily inflows and by weekly inflows too. What we are after, however, is the contract with the most smart money depositors in the last 24 hours. This position is held by a liquidity pool, LP, of the tokens Sex and Wrapped Phantom. The pool is part of the Solidex project. This quick discovery exercise has provided us with our potential investment candidate, which means that due diligence can now start. We can have a quick overview of the website of the project. Solidex advertise themselves as a yield optimizer tied to the Solidly exchange on Phantom. Their token, SEX, has a current price of 35 US dollars. The pools tab lists the pools featured by Solidex, and it's worth searching for the one we have discovered on Nansen. At the time of making this video, the APR is over 7,000%. Should you decide to invest in this pool, you'll need a funded MetaMask wallet and you'll transfer the funds over to Phantom. But let's go back to Nansen and continue our due diligence by opening the wallet profiler dashboard for the address of our pool. First, it's good to familiarize yourself with our labels. Moving on to the charts, the first one tells us that the pool has been active for two days. More importantly though, we can see the balance of the two tokens that constitute the pool, and they weigh in at around 15 million US dollars. Now we can move to the second tab, counterparties. The first two donut charts would tell us about the entities that deposited the native cryptocurrency of this blockchain, which is Phantom, in the pool and that have withdrawn from it. However, this pool does not contain any FTM, hence the empty donuts but it does contain the tokens SEX and wrapped FTM, whose inflows and outflows you can see in the next two donuts. When it comes to pools, learn to compare the figure of 83 million US dollars worth of incoming tokens against the outgoing figure of 51 million US dollars. Back to the overview tab, we can open the wallet profiler for token of Solidex, the pool, and wrapped FTM. The volume has gone up in the first day and it's seemingly stable by now with about 10 million units of WFDM whose value is about 17 million US dollars. However, please bear in mind that these measurements are once a day timestamps. Going down, insight on depositors into the pool and withdrawers can be gained from these two donuts, while the actual number of addresses contributing can be seen below. 
Finally, the single transactions are listed in the table at the bottom. We can sort the list by the value and sign of the transaction or by the UTC time at which they happened. By putting the nerd emoji in the filters, if your account is above standard, we can elect to show only smart money entities that have transacted with a pool in wrapped FTM, as you can see by the fact that a certain entity has had various transactions. This table can be a bit too granular. Because of this, we are going to use the top depositors dashboard instead. In order to do so, we copy the address of the SolidX pool from up here. We open our left-hand navigation menu and select Top Depositors. Finally, we paste the address and type in WFTM to obtain a more aggregated overview of depositors of the token into this pool. Also in this case, we can filter with the nerd emoji. And as you can see, the resulting table shows each account only once. This gives us a clear summary of who has done what with the pool. We can now look at the wallet profiler for token of the top three most significant smart money depositors, which will open in as many different tabs. Before, though, we want to go through the wallet pair profiler between our SolidX pool and the entity called 206.eth. Wallet pair profiler lists exclusively the interactions between two selected addresses, no matter the tokens. This is a good complement to wallet profiler for token, which focuses on one address and one token. As expected, the 17 transactions between these two addresses are all done in wrapped FTM and SEX, but they go both ways when it comes to SEX. In fact, 206.eth is sometimes withdrawing SEX tokens back from SolidX. Understanding the implications of this two-way traffic is an important part of your due diligence process. Now let's have a look at the wallet profiler for token of the biggest depositor into our pool. Historically, they can be considered to be smarter liquidity providers, which is a positive signal. Their current balance of wrapped FTM is basically zero and the most they have owned before the last 24 hours was around 60. Again, you can visualize the inflows and outflows by top entities in the donuts and as a total number in the two cards below. And finally, we can see the single transactions. The entity has had inflows from a spooky swap liquidity pool in order to invest in our SolidX pool. If we filter to have SolidX as the only counterparty, we can see how the flows have been mostly into SolidX, so red and negative from the perspective of the smarter liquidity provider. This should speak about the commitment of this entity towards the SolidX liquidity pool. The second wallet profiler for token is that of 206.eth of which we have already seen the wallet pair profiler between them and the SolidX liquidity pool. Just like the smarter liquidity provider, they don't have any wrapped FTM at the moment, but they have held some rather large positions before. Their outflows into SolidX are rather minimal compared to other ones they have had. If we filter to have only SolidX as the counterparty, we can see the three wrapped FTM transactions into SolidX that we had already discovered with Wallet Pair Profiler. The third largest depositor has received its first wrapped FTM much earlier than the other two, and they now have a small positive balance. Their largest flows of wrapped FTM have been with a Cream Smart contract at the end of January. If we sort by time, we can understand that their recent deposits into SolidX are very minor for their standards, as you can tell from the nearly empty sparklines. By using the filters to gain a more exclusive view, we can tell that the interactions with SolidX have been only deposits, four of them in the last couple of days. At this point, the same due diligence could be performed also on the other token that constitutes the pair in our pool, which is SEX. You'd go back to the wallet profiler and from there open the wallet profiler for token for SolidX and SEX. Even better, go back to the top depositors dashboard, change the token from wrapped FTM to SEX and find the top depositors to then see their wallet profiler for token and or wallet pair profiler. So this is a way you can perform discovery and due diligence to find possible yield opportunities. As always, every widget of every dashboard you go through during your due diligence process should result in a vote in favor or against that possible investment opportunity, which in our case is depositing tokens in the SolidX pool of wrapped FTM and SEX. Would you like a recap? If yes, keep watching. Discover yield opportunities by using the contract widgets in the home dashboard. Look for smart contracts with an outstanding number of smart money depositors. Now, due diligence can start.
Right-click on the pool's name to check its website and get a feeling for your possible returns. Then, open the wallet profiler of the smart contract to check its history and its token balances. Note down the tokens, copy the address of the pool, open top depositors, and insert both inputs. This dashboard will show a summary of the biggest depositors into the pool for that token. Take the biggest ones, or the biggest smart money ones, and open their wallet profiler for token. Wallet profiler for token will show the history of that address and the token, graphically and with a detailed table. See how the flows in or out of the pool sit in the history of that address. From top depositors, you can also open wallet pair profiler. This is an ideal dashboard to see the history between the pool's address and that of the depositor, regardless of the token. Essentially, perform due diligence with Wallet Profiler for Token and Wallet Pair Profiler on as many depositors you want, and for both tokens belonging to the pool. At this point, you should be able to decide whether you want to deposit into this pool and enjoy its yield or not. Thanks for watching!